Reflection on the Song of Songs, chapter five, verse sixteen. His mouth is full of sweetness. He is wholly desirable. This is my beloved, and this is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. I was reading this verse after I had read my morning devotional on Jeremiah chapter twenty-six and Second Timothy chapter three. The contrast was so striking. Look at the Shulamite woman here in the Song of Songs. Look at her attitude, her words. This book is a picture of the Bride of Christ and her relationship with her God. And she says, "His mouth is full of sweetness," and calls him her beloved and her friend. What a tender love! She's filled with admiration and reverence for him, and you can feel her devotion, her deep connection to her bridegroom. Now compare it to Jeremiah twenty-six and Second Timothy chapter three. Do you see the difference? In Jeremiah's day, God's people were hardened, resistant, and hostile. And Jeremiah warned them directly from the heart of God. Yet they despised him for it. And the very ones who should have known better, the leaders and the priests, were ready to put him to death. And then, when you look at Second Timothy chapter three, Paul describes people in the last days as having a form of godliness but denying the po- its power. Opposing the truth with hardened hearts, they love pleasure more than God and resist the Spirit's correction. Do you see the coldness and pride, and unwillingness to receive any message that doesn't align with your comfort? But look at the Shulamite woman; her heart is tender, responsive. She's open, receptive to everything her beloved says. Whether his words bring comfort or correction, she finds sweetness in them because they come from him. Her love for her bridegroom makes even hard words easier to receive. That's the heart God desires in His people, not one that's resistant and brazen, but one that's humble, teachable, willing to embrace even difficult truths. I want that heart. I want to be so in love with God that every word He speaks feels sweet to me. Whether He corrects me, or admonishes me, or encourages me, if it's from Him, I want to receive it with a spirit of love and humility, not pride or resistance. This is the heart of the true bride of Christ, one that says. Your words are sweet to me, no matter what. And my prayer is, Lord, give me this heart, one that sees every word from you as sweetness, that loves you with a tenderness that leaves no room for hardness.